weakness, confusion, difficulty seeing or speaking, dizziness, severe headache with no cause. These symptoms can indicate that a person is having a stroke, especially if they occur suddenly or just on one side of the body. As we say, time is brain, which means that the longer you wait, the more damage can occur to the brain, so it's important to get medical attention immediately, fast. F for face is drooping, A for arm weakness, S for speech difficulty, T, time to call 911. Fast is the way to remember what's happening, might be a stroke, call 911. Learn more from the American Stroke Association at stroke.org. So what exactly happens when a stroke occurs? The blood flow to the brain is interrupted either by a blockage or rupture of a blood vessel. And when this happens, brain cells begin to die within minutes, which can cause permanent damage or even death. If you think someone is having a stroke, it's important to seek medical attention, so call 911 immediately. Minutes matter. So after that 911 call, you should take note of when the symptoms first appeared to help doctors determine the best treatment option. Stay with the person. Help them remain calm until help arrives. Don't give them anything to eat or drink as they may have difficulty swallowing and might choke. The faster a person gets medical attention, the better their chances of recovery are. Let me repeat, minutes matter. When help arrives, the healthcare professionals will determine the best course of action to reduce the impact and improve the chances of full recovery, such as giving oxygen or medication to prevent blood clots or lower blood pressure. Once at the hospital, doctors will use imaging tests such as CT scans, MRIs, and angiograms to diagnose the type and severity, that is, how bad or how not so bad the stroke is. They may use medication to dissolve blood clots or to prevent new ones from forming. They will also provide support to manage blood pressure, control blood sugar levels, and prevent complications. Long-term stroke recovery is a complex process that can take months or even years, depending on the individual's condition and severity of the stroke. But here is a snapshot of what you can expect. For the first 90 days, patients should be closely monitored and attend regular follow-up appointments with their healthcare team. The doctor will likely prescribe rehabilitation programs to help recover motor, speech, and cognitive functions. So for one second, motor is your movement and cognitive functions are about how your brain is able to process information and use that information. This therapy may include physical, occupational, speech, or cognitive therapy, all of which help patients regain independence and improve their quality of life. And the earlier you start rehab, the more successful your recovery will be. Lifestyle changes, such as quitting smoking, reducing alcohol consumption, and managing stress are very important to promote long-term recovery. In addition, regular physical activity can improve physical and mental health. But it's important to consult with your healthcare team, including your doctor, physical therapist, before starting a physical activity program. I recommend starting with simple range of motion exercises such as stretching, resistance training, balance and coordination activities, and cardiovascular exercise. A healthy diet is also very important. A balanced diet that includes plenty of fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean protein, and healthy fat will lower the risk of future strokes and promote recovery. If your doctor prescribes medications for blood clot prevention or lowering blood pressure, it's really important to take them as directed. Education is also critical for patients and their families. Doctors and healthcare team can provide resources about stroke prevention, warning signs, and strategies for managing stroke-related disabilities. And when it comes to driving, stroke patients are generally advised to wait for several weeks. 
Even then, the healthcare team will conduct a thorough assessment of a patient's physical and cognitive abilities, including vision, reaction time, judgment, and coordination. The team may recommend rehab or training before resuming driving. In some cases, the patient may need periodic evaluations to ensure they're able to drive safely. One of the most significant aspects of stroke recovery is mental health. Stroke patients often experience significant emotional distress due to the sudden onset of illness and support from family, friends, and health professionals is critical to managing these feelings and promoting recovery. Patients may benefit from counseling or therapy, such as services from a psychologist or a licensed clinical social worker to help manage stress, anxiety, depression, and other challenges. Support groups can be helpful for patients and their families to connect them with others who are having similar experiences to access helpful resources and get practical advice. In some cases, medications may help manage mood disorders such as depression or anxiety that can arise after a stroke. Mindfulness and relaxation techniques such as meditation or yoga can help reduce stress and promote mental health. And finally, occupational therapy can help stroke patients develop strategies to manage challenges such as memory loss, attention difficulties, or mood changes. Stroke recovery is a journey, not a sprint. And it's important to be patient, persistent, and optimistic. During the first 90 days, Patients need rehabilitation, lifestyle changes, and mental health support. Above all, professional help and support will greatly improve the quality of life for patients and their families. If you have questions about your health, I would love to hear from you. Comment below, hit subscribe, and join me here next time for Answers You Can Trust.